We haven't even talked about our seniors at Eastside Table City. It took us roughly six to seven weeks. Okay. About okay. six to seven weeks. Six and a half. But the whole project total was a year, about a year. Okay. Yeah. Cool. They are proud of a project they have invested nearly two months on over the course of a year. Oh, shit. On the inside, and, a supreme sound uh, system. On the outside, a low rider system. Under the hood, terminals. everything you needed to make this truck run. And then Presenting the, power that way. the east side low rider. Uh, the colors was up to um, Mr. Stanfield on the colors of the car, but the Phoenix on the front of the hood is for to recognize, to recognize the school. Okay, so show me, walk up there. This is the other design that Mr. Stanfield chose. Ah, uh, so Stanfield chose. So Stanfield chose this. Um, while we are on break, though, I would get video of some of them looking at it while they're on break. Okay. In front of us was Mr. Stanfield's idea to put the Phoenix on the front to recognize the school. Oh, the work done on the truck is a source of pride. Yeah, I mean, the green was chosen by Mr. Stanfield. All the colors were chosen by Mr. Stanfield. You recognize the school, the green, the red, the silver, the lightning came in to play as the kids wanted to do um, airbrush designs on it. And um, the rims, Mr. Stanfield. Okay, so I'm... It was sort of an interesting project to make a um, cut spring lowrider. So it was sort of more of you're making a lowrider instead of just rebuilding a truck. Right. Boy. Come on, buddy. This gentleman here. Origin. This is a. This is his original drawing, and okay. if you look at the drawing that's on the hood of the truck, he actually did. He he did that himself. So. Um, since he birthed the, the first drawing of the Phoenix, and so that's why his plaque is here. Because when we didn't have a name um, or a school logo mascot, we did a school contest, and he won. And so he rendered this drawing, so we put him on the wall. And then when we got that truck, we uh, asked him that if he would design that. So basically, he, he designed that back in 2015. Okay, and so the the truck. Uh, Mr. Trusty, um, his kids did the paint job. Uh, between me and him, we're Mr. Jones and Mr. Riddle's class automotive, and they helped us with wiring. If we had a problem, like we had to weld, we had to weld some of this truck, um, the shields for the airbags. So we, it was a big thanks and shout out to them. Definitely, all, all because they've helped teachers. us a lot along the way as well. I mean, they've had some do in it. And as far as the other students who have helped us work on this as well, as far as like, I mean, it would be minor things, but they still. The principal, yeah. And we, um, just because he really came to us and he wanted to like enhance it more and he wanted us to use our creativity and to uh, work together to come up with prices, brands, numbers, time-wise, all that good stuff and put it all together into this, and this is the final outcome of it. And uh, after all of this said and done, I mean, I've, I've learned a lot from it. I've put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into it. He has as well. And I mean, it's, it's been an interesting ride along the way though, because we've learned to work together more. We've gotten a good experience being here as well. Right. And, um, getting to do something that we love because we love to fix cars, work on them, make them better, add things to them, all that stuff. Part of planning for and their future. This is, this is a final outcome of that. So. Thankful for the opportunity to learn at Eastside. More than just a school, Eastside is a place for some very special and talented students that are able to express their abilities while pursuing their passion.